Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to This About Action Figures, toy episode number 180. I'll be honest, not quite sure what's gonna be in this video. I'm outside the Target in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, uh, on my way to Toys for the Ages Expo Toy Show down here in Carlisle, PA. Uh, so I thought I'd show you this Target first. Uh, so I might include all the footage from uh, that Toy Expo in this video, or this video might turn into all the stores around the convention and then do a separate hunt video there. So we'll find out along the way. Uh, but before we get to any of that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps us grow the channel tremendously. Hit that bell for notifications. That way YouTube actually tells you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy interviews reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below at that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, check us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Let's see what's inside this target. And then we'll see where we go after that. All right, so quick stop here in the collectible section first. And Besides pops, 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 not seeing a whole lot here. Uh, I think there's actually a separate aisle as well. I'll go check out and see if there's more, but uh, Gremlins, Predator, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Halloween three pack, uh, Toonie Terrors, we got a Jaws here. I haven't seen Jaws uh, Toonie Terror in quite a while, but as soon as we got it, let's go check the main aisle. All right, main aisle section. Nice to see Maggot finally in the Target. Only saw him in Walmart so far. Uh, we have Darwin up top, Vulcan, Siren, tons of Wolverines, uh, and the Black Panther Legacy Collection is here. No M'Baku, though. I haven't seen him yet. Uh, down this way, not much else going on, as you can see. Some older G.I. Joe stuff. Got some page punchers. They're at Walmart now, too. Uh, and there is our Black Adam. I think we saw him in our last video uh, at a Walmart. Uh, first time seeing him at Target. Uh, we also have the comic book Black Adam, so kind of cool to see the movie and the comic side by side. Gold label Lex Luthor in the power suit, uh, Adam Smasher. But uh, yeah, that's about it. And right behind me, there is new Mo2. <laughs> we have new uh, Origins figures. So we have the uh, 40th anniversary figures, it looks like. So Master of the Universe here. Uh, we have our Beast Man for Eternia. Uh, Andra's still here. But yeah, we have Skeletor. Um, I didn't even know these were coming out. I really don't follow. Uh, the Mo2 as closely as I should, uh, but it looks like mostly Skeletor. Oh, in the back we have a pig head. That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I was unfamiliar with pig head. Uh, Skeletor, 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 Skeletor. But uh, yeah, we got to see pig head here. There's more down here. Skeletor, He-Man. Uh, in the back we have another He-Man. But uh, yeah, pig head might be worth taking a closer look at. All right, so I dug through to the back there to get to Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man, pig head. Uh, so I have no background with this. Let me know in the comments what I'm looking at, but it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, other than that, down this way, uh, lots of little three and three quarter Star Wars. Ooh, we actually have newer stuff too. So there is Migs and a bunch of Migs there. Holy cow. Uh, Obi-Wan is there. We have Vader in the back. We have Saw Gerrera. Uh, tons of the Galen Ursos here. Wrestling is a dumpster fire. Well, and there's a cane because that's kind of cool to see. I don't think that's a swap. Um, tons of Batista. We have lots of X Pac, but no new AEW, which is hoping to find. And the Walmart up the street here in Carlisle from where we just were at Target. And well, Walmart's doing all these crazy resets. Can't hurt the check. And there's also a Spirit Halloween here in the complex. So Main Isle is pretty dead, but this is just randomly sitting here, like on this, I don't know, center cap on the way you'd call this. But uh, so good to see more new Joes again. I guess they just have been out for a while. Maybe they got picked clean. But yeah, randomly found this one here. So um, I'm not quite sure if I'll show you anything else in this location. It's kind of pretty pretty empty. But no, no. If I find something else, I'll show you. All right, home base update. Uh, it is packed here today on a Sunday. Uh, the last couple days since I last checked, there was nothing new here. Uh, but now there is. So there's four Croc Masters. As you saw in the last video, we found out three of those over in Hamburg. Uh, stacked Marvel Legends this morning. So all these must have been put out probably early this morning or late last night. There's Havoc hiding back there. Uh, then this way we have Spider-Man 2099. Some new Spider-Man stuff. Page punchers down below. They do not have any of the stands out. Gold label Parallax is here. Three of him. As you can see down here, Star Wars new three, three quarter of the retro. So we have the fifth brother. We have Ned B. I have no idea who that is. Uh, I watched the watched that show and I still don't know. But all, basically all the Obi-Wans are here. So uh, yeah, home base Walmart looking pretty darn good after our trip down to Toys of the Ages. Had a great time down there, but now we're local again for the rest of this video. Um, so I guess more local shops in this hunt. But yeah, that seems to be about it. No other new GI Joe besides the Croc Master. Uh, that is here and head on a swivel by the way there are two cases here because there's the rest of the second case up top so two cases of those legends full pegs which is great and probably new gi joe by the end of the day today maybe we'll stop by again here later on we'll see what our time is uh just real quick since i turn the camera back on anyway there are your transformers and that's about it for this store back here at cedar crest boulevard dc pretty wiped out right now they do have him which is 
an interesting style choice. We've seen it before though. Uh, little G.I. Joe's, regular price, not for us. Marvel Legends looks like they did put the Sabretooth case here. So tons of Sabretooths here. Uh, Black Panther, still don't see any Umbaku's unless they already moved. I haven't been here a few days. Uh, it's been moved back behind. Ragnarok's still there. We'll scan them, but probably still full price. Lots of that Thor. Wow. Lots of that Thor. Uh, pops, 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 pops. Wrestling. We got tons of Mr. T still sitting here. He's going to eventually clearance. A bunch of damaged Lugers, it looks like. They're, whoa, they're destroyed. A uh, ton of Batista. Fiend. A bunch of X-Pac still here. Rey Mysterio. That's already at Ollie's, by the way. Um, which is crazy. No new AEW, unfortunately. Ah, looks like we have tons of Galliner. So the client uh, ch -ch -ch tech here from the Bad Batch. Of course, we have our Leia's uh, down here. These are hitting here now, too. So these have been uh, hitting Walmart last I saw. Uh, we just saw these earlier to Walmart as well. So those are all hitting the little Star Wars three three quarter retros. Tons more of these uh, squadrons down here. They have chases, I think. I got to look around and see. Uh, then down here, Jurassic Park. But otherwise, that seems to be about it for us. We'll try to check NECA on the way out. NECA is pretty much what you would expect. We do have two Bronx, which is cool. You don't see those every day. At least I don't. Uh, all the horror stuff's out because, you know, it's getting closer to Halloween season, spooky season. Oh, Spawn, let's us back to regular price now. Got Alf chilling up there. Uh, up top, which sees what you get. Not much going on. Uh, down here, lots of gremlins. New gremlins will be hitting soon. Evil Dead's here. Uh, but yeah, seems to be about it for this location. Uh, All right, so dip back in here at the Walmart off of Hamilton. And uh, looks like they do have the dark side superpowers here. Uh, not much other DC stuff here, at least, but I think I saw the display. So they did do their reset in regards to moving things to a new aisle. However, they have not yet put much new product out. So there was for here last time, the Black Panthers. There's your Transformers, if you were curious what's here. Uh, all sorts of stuff is kind of thrown and stacked up here. Not much rhyme or reason from what I can see. Uh, a little bit more Transformers action there. And as you can see, that's about it. Uh, wrestling is a dumpster fire. So let's see what else is inside this store if we look around a little bit. All right, here's the Superpowers uh, shipper display in the center. Um, and I have to say, my local Walmart never puts out shippers for whatever reason, very rarely. So it's fun to see these in these other locations because, again, we don't get these in mind, unfortunately. Uh, over here, there's our vehicles. And over here in the collectible section, Wolfman, NECA, Halloween Kills, about those two packs for TMNT. Got some battering action going on, gargoyles. Nothing new. It's basically all the same stuff I've seen here. Uh, the, all the times I've been here before, they did restock, or at least looks like maybe they just tend to have a lot of TMNT best action loyal subjects. Uh, what we got going on here? Leonardo comic book and action figure. Okay, well, those are new. All right, that's pretty cool, although it's not Leonardo, is, is it? Where does it say Leonardo? Blue? Red? What am I missing here? <laughs> is this the version of the turtles from the comics where they all had the same color headband, I guess? Yeah, it must be what it is because the L does see Leonardo. So it's cool seeing that here. Again, not for me, but best action really pumping out through Loyal Subjects a lot of new stuff. I think I'm going to see more of these on the end cap. Let's go check it. It looks like I did. So we also have Raphael sitting over here. So I'm guessing it's basically the same turtle in each, just with a different belt and maybe different head sculpts and accessories. Comes with a comic book. It's pretty neat. Uh, but it looks like it's just Raphael and Leonardo right now. I don't see Michelangelo or Donatello. So you have to let me know in the comments. Is that something that it is already out or we have to wait on? So on MacArthur Road, Walmart, and this is too good to be true, right? $4.90 for the Bad Batch Crosshair, who I actually don't have. And $4.90 for the Bad Batch Imperial Clone Trooper. I thought these were fig swaps or something, but I just looked up the pictures and compared, and I'm pretty sure everything's in here and the gun looked right the the pack or that is look right the belt i mean i guess underneath it could be a different face head sculpt i guess technically and then this guy same thing everything looked in order you know it's all taped i mean the, the guns look the same nothing seems to be missing so i'm gonna take a gamble and grab these i mean i don't do a lot of black series but four dollars and ninety cents yeah why not so that's a win i guess right and main aisle they started the reset there's not a lot out yet but we do have pretty much an entire case of these. So there's two of our Emperor Palpatines. There are two Dengars here, as you can see. So Dengar chilling on the peg. There's the price. And of course, we have two Landos in the back and also those Landos. So yeah, I guess they're slowly putting stuff out here. This out of all the Walmarts I go to probably gets the most foot traffic in it because it's like right in the middle of the city. 
So um, it's hard to find stuff here sometimes. So you got to hit it right. Power Rangers down below. DC down this way. It looks like there's some of the older stuff. The Batman wave. Uh, and actually, there's, there's Superman John Kent. We've only seen him so far at, I think it was Jaff, J-A-F Comics. Godspeed is here. So yeah, it looks like some of the newer ones are also here too. Pretty cool. And yes, they too here at MacArthur Road have out the shipper that they will not put out in my neck of the woods. So again, there's Adam Smasher, the Page Punchers. Why can't we get a G.I. Joe classified shipper like this in Walmarts? Hasbro, why? Why can't we? McFarland gets, uh, gets displays. Jazz wears AEW gets displays from time to time. I mean, you name it. Uh, He-Man got a display in a shipper. Why can't Legends get a shipper? Or not, not Legends, sorry. Why can't J.J. Classified get a shipper? Hell, I'd take a Legend shipper, but can we say J.J. Classified shipper, guys? Let's just get one. It'd be so cool looking. I've seen it in Canada. And I just scanned those, and there you go. That's what they came up as, so we'll take that as winning, right? So quick dip back into Cedar Crest Boulevard, and... Well, boom, <laughs> we do have a new Star Wars Black Series hitting. So uh, we got our band going on. We do have that new Obi-Wan Kenobi here from the show, which looks good. I'll leave it at that. It looks good. I don't need it, but it looks good. Boxes are dinged up pretty bad. Uh, there is our Reva. Reva, I always say it wrong. I apologize. One of these days, I'll go back and rewatch it and figure it out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's sitting here. Looks pretty good as well. Uh, and then we also have the droid here. So we do get the New Republic security droid. So fun seeing these. All four boxes are a little bit dinged up, some more than others. Uh, but I'll leave those here and I'll throw them up over at Instagram. This about underscore 12 for all of you local collectors who are looking for these. Uh, we also saw this at Jap Comics at one point recently too. Uh, as far as Star Wars go, also new retros are here. We've soon seen those pop up here and there, not too shocking. Uh, the new vehicles, not vehicles, but I guess the Jazzware stuff is here too. So. All right, everybody, we are at the Walmart on Hamilton Street, and we hit it big finding the gold label Azrael Batman armor DC multiverse figure, two of them. Ah, that cover takes me back to my childhood, man. Comic book reading, oh, it's so good. Um, that's awesome to see. They're also doing a reset right now, so I might hang out and see if I can get some new AEWs or something in hand. Um, but I think unless I find something else in this store, that's gonna call it here, guys. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, doesn't cost you anything, helps us grow the channel tremendously. Then hit that bell for notifications. That way it enables YouTube to actually tell you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy and reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below and hit that like button for daily toy content and daily toy updates, check us out over at Instagram and Twitter, uh, Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Everybody, if you're going 20, remember the three P's of the toy hunt, patience, persistence, muscle, politeness, take care, stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.